Hello my lovelies, I'm Olivia and I'm glad you are back on my channel. Well, if you are here for the first time, then subscribe. Put your like and start trading with me. As you yourself have noticed that this video is quite long and I decided to make it for you so that you can master the basics of trading in just one hour while you have been watching my channel for a long time and trying yourself in trading, then this video will be a great way to remember all the details and basics of trading. So make some tea, sit back and let's start diving into the part of beginner in trading so friends let's start with the view with the whole graphic and i've just prepared for you this pair this asset this pair of the euro against the united states uh, dollar so here we are going on from the trading view the trading view here is um, presenting us that very pair of the assets the currency ratio so here we are friends and i've just prepared for you that very story just to consider how it is really great is showing the high volatility so you see there is a great history and along with the whole that growing time we are having here mm, then that very story just to see how the prices differ um how the prices is changing here how the quotes are presented being here growing down and growing up of course friends and you see i'm here in my uh, three hours o'clock three hours in the morning what do you say um you see i consider myself being a great shark even among the binary options and i'm feeling really good in my night hours and uh, also earning morning hours so here we are friends let's go on what do you say if you are considering yourself being a great zero uh, totally zero you are in your new way and you are starting to trade you are the beginner so let's move on you see that uh, there is the graph consisted of the green bars right the green candlesticks and the red candlesticks that means that this in this case um when you see the row of green candlesticks that means that we are dealing with the balls we are dealing with the bullish market we are dealing with the bullish tendencies friends and what else we should say we are dealing with the growing up um, of the quads so that's it also what can i say about this part of the graph what are we seeing here so uh what i mean in the color and that this is um, that very row of red candlesticks right over here and if you see that kind of story you can be sure that um, there is that very very bearish station and I just want to draw it to you so um, you will be really confident in seeing this very line and i want to show you that if you see this type of story the row of the rats that means um, that the growing down of the quads is happening here the bears are coming here and the bearish market is here right over here to go further so that's it that is the main and the simplest thing for you to go through uh, considering the whole graph mm, so friends my lovely is let's go on from total unskilled to the master of basics and we are going on uh, continuing talking about the types of graphics so here we are doing the most of um, with the most popular type type of the graphic the japanese candlesticks friends they're really great in providing also the patterns on which we will talk about a bit later okay and also according to the trading view i can show you how the the this very type of graphic are shown friends in uh, this type of stories uh, we are going on to the candles and this is the so-called graphic and in this type of story it is called the candles by the way it is also one of the popular ones the line graphic let's consider it and uh, so here we are again remember we are working with the euro against the united states dollar 
that's it. You see, it can be really convenient in providing with the trends and with the history of um, prices. That's really simple and easy to use. Let's go on further. And uh, um, one of the three popular is uh, the bars. The bars graphic here contain, um, contains with the beginning and um, the end of the quotes. Here we are, for example, if we are working with the green bars here, where we can consider the beginning and the end of each bar. This is um, that very beginning, okay? We also can see that the price went a bit down and then it came back and it's here having that very end which is very very beginning of next one and so on and so on and here we are on uh, consisted of um, dashed lines graphic concerning uh, the graph and working with the red ones here it is the beginning and the end and this is that very beginning of the next one i use it seldom uh, but I find it really interesting to consider and we are coming back to the candles friends so it's really great and we will talk on later on how to use the candlestick patterns and of course of course if we are here and considering this graphic consisted out of the japanese candlesticks that means that we are having here we have to consider to um, to read the candlesticks and there are also the interesting situation while working with the candlesticks you can customize the time frame yes you can also customize the duration of the candlesticks here we are working with the 13 minutes but you can also work with one minute remember i love trading binary options that's why i'm working with one minute only time frame and one minute duration of the candlesticks friends so that's it we are having here this very candlesticks and uh, this very candle is in um, the stage of the formation and growing down so that's it so i think it's really easy to use help yourself so my lovelies we are moving further and in this case let's start with knowing the trend and the force so what should i say in this type of uh, story you see that there is a slow tendency of growing down that's it after some time we are having this growing up of the candlesticks also containing uh, the heights which is here i mean those green bars and the lows sometimes they are happening also along with the growing up of the candlesticks this is that very low okay and here we are having a short growing down of the candlesticks that means that a bearish trend probably is presented here mm -hmm. and when you know when you start to realize what is going on right over here friends you are having the possibility and um, the will to gain money you know how do you think how do you think so it is that very story when the indicators are needed and in this situation we are moving on to the indicators which are presented here with a great variety friends you can start with anything you you would like but as for me i consider working with the three popular on each platform indicators that are the Keltner, the Bollinger and the Alligator. Uh, I'm trying to find it among the great list here and well well I'm not seeing it. Uh, I think that it's called another way here and we will go on with the Bollinger's. Uh, let's try working through the Bollinger's friends that's it. Uh, the Bollinger's are here fine you see that they're represented with the three ranges. Um, so I will show you on Quartex how I use it. Fine, and in this case you see it's great pull right over here from which we can also gain some interesting entry points. You see any type of the graph can be considered the way you can gain the profit with. Friends, uh, this is that very story for you to consider how the Bollinger Bands look like. That's it. 
There are also the indicators which are providing you with the trend and uh, there are some indicators which are providing you with the force. Uh, so you have to mind um, to know some of them, you know, that will be real enough for you to start with. This is a Bollinger's and you can see it, right? It, looking, uh, it is looking really great and if you get used to it, you will get much money. Oh my lovelies, we are continuing from this place and I'm here in uh, Cortex uh, and I'm continuing to show you how to work with any asset uh, and any platform you are in. So I think uh, that it will be really convenient for us to start studying in the cortex because it has really a uh, variable list of indicators but it is um, divided into two parts which is more convenient for us to start trading and start studying for example this is a very small button to start with and here we are friends this is indicator spinal uh, let's go further and here we are going to the indicators which uh, as far as I told you are divide, uh, dived uh, into two parts okay first one is for trend indicators and you can see it and um, uh, there is a great variety of the most popular indicators which are provided here and I like it friends and the second part is for basement escalators and the basement indicators, um, here we are, yeah, we can work with any type uh, you want and you can start with uh, then the simplest. So I think I have to consider you working with the alligator because I was promising you to show um, how to work with the alligator or else uh, how it is looking like. So this is that very alligator. I think that we should try the default settings because so uh, we do not need any type of issues while considering this type, uh, this type of story while considering uh, the trend, while considering the chart. So here we are friends and you see that uh, this is the alligator and I can tell you something about this very simple and popular indicator which is providing us with the trend. Okay, I can say that it is the legendary indicator is one of the greatest, greatest, one of the oldest indicators. Still, it is really working great, amazing. Nothing can change it and uh, the author is Bill Williams and you see it was constructed in 1995 friends still it is one of the best and showing the situation in buy and sell contracts and what I should say more mm -hmm. from this part of view you can consider working with the highest high of the alligator and the highest high here is in many types of alligators is the green one uh, that means that it's um, it's here by the way it's the lowest low here in this situation that means that uh, we can wait for a little until the balls are coming because, you know, uh, the green one is providing us with the situation of growing up and if the green one is much higher than the previous row, then the last one is a mean, um, like, I mean the second one and third one lines, that means that we can consider the up button. Friends, the up button is here and this is uh, for the buy contracts and this is the sell contracts, okay? So that's it. We are working with the alligator and I think that it is really convenient and here we are when you see that this type of situation with the flat, the flat zones are provided here. This means that you have to wait a little. So let's go for example to the New Zealand door against the Japanese yen. Here we are friends and you see this is a very story to work with the alligator when you see that very highest high of the alligator. That means that one with the smallest digits here 
if you will go on working with any platform you like you for example um, you can consider working on Quartex with your demo version and or starting to go on with only ten dollars on this account um, and on this platform in this type of story when you will go on with alligator you can consider two stations uh, when the green is much lower than two of the rest of three lines that means that you can have your time while pressing the put option the down button right here okay but you see that the some situations when the quotes are going to be a bit higher for those purpose you need some obvious signs of progress some obvious si signals like uh, of the graph and of the situation that it give is given here so friends for those purposes you need to consider working with the basement indicators so my friends moving further and you can be in this pair up or you can uh, unpin it so and delete it because you have to consider working with the assets with the right yield and that means that you can go to the list of indicators and always consider something more reliable of course for you and something with a great income so in this situation let's move on with for example euro and united states dollars uh, right over here let's pin this up and let's delete this so move on further here we are going on with the obvious signs uh, uh, of progress and if you are moving on with this type of situation when there is the candle there is a new candlestick with a new color and that means uh, that we are not here being sure about making the next move friends uh, that means that as far as I told you, we will have to go on with some of the basement indicators so far. Let's move on to the second um let's move on to the second part and here we are for example we can use the rci indicator the um, relative straight index which is really convenient here and you see that from this type of story you do not need any settings to be changed and you just walking on with the rci so what is going on right over here Mm, we see that this basement escalator, this basement indicator is showing us some line, right? And in this here, touching the level of 70. Okay, by the way, fr friends, there are um, two levels, uh, the 30 and uh, the 70. So, my friends, um, there are many catches for us while moving on with the relying on the indicators on the basement indicators friends there are many situations from which we can start and from which we can end with a great income believe me so in this case you see that there are many situations when the lines are below the level of 30 and above the level of 70 that means that we are seeing that the quotes are here for example in this type of story friends this is uh, the query zone or the overboard zone from which we can see here we can see what is going on what the prices is going to be a bit a bit lower so because the overboard zone is um, whispering us the reversal in uh, sentiment so by the way if you are also not really confident in making the next move you can also rely on the actions on the behavior of of the basement indicator friends that is why um, it is really convenient to work in the combinations yes right because they can provide you not even with one trend it can provide you with bot indicators types of bot indicators well I mean not only the trend but also the force the force is typically um, for the basement indicators and you will need to leave the force uh, for the basement indicators friends that is um, that is it for you to know for the first step 
just to try it okay please try if you are looking for the obvious signs of progress you can consider yourself a great complex your customized combo your individual combo so and that's it for you i should say that we can call it a day i think that you have to try it for sure definitely and next time i will consider you talking on something more captivating and more complicated wow this analysis of the basic of trading for beginners was a great great idea i hope you liked it and it was useful after all now knowing everything you need about trading you can start trying trading strategies and earn money from them there are many different strategies on my channel both for beginners and for pro traders already advanced traders support me and this video with a like so that as many people as possible can master the basics of trading and start their own path to success friends well with that i say goodbye to you bye bye new videos will be released very very soon so subscribe and click the bell button